Hey guys, just kind of a bit of a bonus video today, I guess. I mean, um, it's as you can see, this is definitely not Game Maker. This is Adobe Photoshop, and uh, what I wanted to just show today, because a couple of people were kind of asking me about it, is um, how to make like a seamless texture. As you might remember, I had those scrolling clouds, and they were like totally horizontally seamless. So I mean, they never had like like tiled obviously tiled edges and stuff, but it was all created from just like one image. So I mean, I just wanted to, I mean, it's not really much of a trick to it really, but I was just going to show sort of my main method of doing that sort of stuff, because it, it might help some people out. Um, there are better dedicated Photoshop tutorials for this, but here's just a sort of a, a quick and dirty way of, of getting it done. So I mean, if you go to filters, I mean, this is just for clouds or whatever, but the same principles really apply to whatever image or texture you're kind of trying to create seamless. But for now, I just want an image to use as an example, so I'm going to go to Filter, Render Clouds, which just creates some clouds for you off of whatever your foreground and background colors are currently set to. So now we have some clouds, but, I mean, they look seamless as it is, but actually if this image was put, like, by next to itself, side by side, there would be a big seam here, here, and, like, the same, like, vertically if you were to put it, like, here or, like, up there. So we want to get rid of those, and we can only get rid of those if we're able to see those seams in the first place. So in Photoshop specifically, the way I like to do this is, um, the way that just really makes sense is to just go to Other, uh, Filter, Other, and Offset, and then type in, like, uh, what I usually like to use so I can easily get it back to how it was, is half the image size and half the image... Uh, yeah, half the image width and half the image height, and just offset by that amount. So this is a 400 by 400 image, so I'm just going to offset by 200 and 200. So as you can already see, like before we even hit OK, just in the preview, that we can now see exactly where the seams in our image are. And now basically, all you need to do at this point is get rid of those seams. So, I mean, there's not really much of a, a trick to this bit, really. I mean, there's there's no sort of quick, easy, like, make seamless button, really. Um, you just, I mean, depending on what you're working with. With clouds, it's actually really kind of straightforward, the things you kind of have to do. But it'll be different every time, regardless of what, you know, kind of image you're working with. Mostly the things you'll want to do are use things like the, uh, the spot healing brush over here, and... Uh, like the clone stamp tool and things like your, your smudge tools and your blur tools things like that because all you really want to do is merge these lines together and get rid of these obvious seams so you want to make this area flow seamlessly into this area seamlessly into this area and so on and so forth all you really need to be careful of is when you're working at the edges over here um, like if you're using a, a big brush or something and you, you start doing stuff like over the top here you're just going to create a new seam because obviously anything your brush would have done over the top here isn't going to wrap around at the bottom here that would be a really cool option in Photoshop let me know if there's a way of doing that already if anyone knows how to make a, a brush tool like wrap around on your image that would be fantastic but um, but yeah otherwise like, just be careful at your edges make these seams go away and that's pretty much it um, I mean, I don't really, I'm not really going to be able to commentate it that well as I, I do this, but I guess I, I'll shut up now and just kind of make this image seamless, and you can kind of follow along with what I'm doing, maybe if, if you've used Photoshop before. So, yeah, I'm just going to kind of make this as seamless as possible. And there you have it. Um, as you can see, I'm totally rubbish at Photoshop under pressure, and I've created extra areas of tiling going on in this image. Like you can kind of see some up here and some up here. But I have basically gotten the job done um, <laughs> very quickly and rubbishly. But that's generally the idea. So I mean, if we now want to be done all that, you want to get your image back to how it was originally, just so you can see. Make sure you've not accidentally created any new seams or anything like that. All you need to then do is go to other, offset again, and you can see because I'm so bad I have created a couple of new seams going on here and here. But um so once you've
just put it back to exactly how it was by just repeat. If you did it by half and half as well, like you used the sort of numbers and offset that I told you to use, then um, then just doing offset again will put it exactly back to how it was. So once done that, all I would need to do now is maybe clean up this a little bit more because <laughs> I just did a really bad job of this basically. But um, other than that, um, the image will actually seem uh, be seamless even if it were to, were to tile. Basically want to get it to the point where you can kind of mash that offset feature uh, like that and kind of not see any new seams or any, any problems like that. Um, in Photoshop specifically when you're working with clouds, if you actually set uh, your image to the right size to begin with, like um, I know powers of 2 tend to work, so like 512 and 256 um, or like 1024 by 1024, you know, that sort of stuff, and it, it's square. Um, doing render clouds will actually make it seamless for you in the first place, so your clouds will already be seamless and you won't have to do any of this, but that is specific to clouds. So, and anything coming from the render clouds tool. Really, really useful though, there's a ton you can get off of just being able to generate a random pattern of clouds, a lot of which has nothing to do with clouds in the first place. So if I just kind of clean this up a little bit to make this a little bit less embarrassingly bad. Okay, it looks a bit rubbish, but at the same time, now if I hold Control F to repeat the last filter we've done, like you can see, offsetting either way, there's no seams now. So if this image was placed next to itself, like over and over and over again, like uh, it would look, it would look absolutely fine, and it would scroll horizontally absolutely fine. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, be better at Photoshop than I am, and you'll you'll be able to do it, make much better looking clouds than I did. But I mean, once your image is seamless, um, in that regard, like uh, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I mean, there's other things you can do to your image. Like uh, I mean, if I did like in in my previous video, I had like a gradient overlay, um, which has kind of made it like brighter at the top and darker at the bottom. But you have to be aware of anything that you do to this image after making it seamless will affect those seams. Now, because this is like a perfectly linear overlay and it's getting brighter from the bottom and uh, getting darker like that, it means it should at this point still um, like off. It should like uh, if I was to like collapse this entirely, like flatten the image, get rid of that filter, and offset it. You'll notice like it seems horizontally perfectly still, but it. it you know, we've, we've ruined the vertical scene there. So you just have to be careful and keep in mind some things you can do to the image, and obviously if you put anything in here or what out, then it'll still seem fine, but you have to be careful of things like uh, that change like uh, the scene between either your vertical or your horizontal, because as you can see it's, it's the same here, but here and here is totally different. So that's what would have changed there, and that's kind of, that. this is basically the sort of image I used for the um, the very first tutorial video. Uh, with the scrolling clouds and stuff, so yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. Just a quick bonus video on making seamless textures. Uh, hope it was somehow useful to you. Uh, good luck and have fun.